welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do your weekly reading. It's going to be July 27th through August 2nd. Please remember this as a general reading. If you'd like something more specific, my information's in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Um, please remember it is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, there is a, um, if I haven't said it already, I apologize if I did. Uh, there is a playlist link in the description box to check out your other signs as well. The last thing that I have for you is I am doing um, a giveaway at the end of every month. I'm giving away two personal readings. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. You just need to like and comment. And I just want to say thank you. I appreciate all your support, your likes, your shares, your comments. Um, thank you. And let's get started here. So I'm going to pull first um, one card from the Energy Oracle deck and see what you have here, what the current energy is. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Aquarius is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Aquarius the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. Oop, there it is. I pray that this gives them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. Amen. And I feel, uh, feel like spirit's telling me to pull another card. So I pulled two cards here. We're going to pull two cards from the Romance Angels. And please remember that um, anything goes for the weeklies. If you're new to my channel, can be about love, career, finances, family situations, uh, what have you. So take the messages how they resonate with you. So let's get two cards from the Romance Angels for Aquarius. Let's get... Oh. Feel like there's another card that wants to come out all right okay so energy oracle cards you have walking away and the sun card wow beautiful energy here i feel here aquarius i feel like you're choosing you this 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 um right away spirit's telling me that you may have walked away from something or someone here and you decided to choose your own happiness and this is just beautiful both of these cards are so beautiful um i feel here you know you're walking through um well, you've walked past these golden gates here and you're leaving something behind and as you move forward it's just beautiful and then here you have the sunshine all right beautiful sunshine and she's sitting you know in this big cup or chalice um, or can also be a fountain here but it's definitely beautiful a new beginning i feel like aquarius you're walking away and starting something very beautiful and something very new okay so wow beautiful energy there now for the romance angels okay so here again love yourself first and heart to heart conversations so i feel here that you may have had a heart to heart conversation with someone like i said whether this is love career family um, whatever it is and i feel like this really made you realize how important your happiness is all right and i feel like you walked away because you chose you you decided to love yourself first and that is beautiful that's one of the major you know life lessons that you can go through is just doing things for you um, and choosing you okay so beautiful energy here we also have here forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present so i feel here um, with this process that your angels are saying here too that even though you may have walked away and you're choosing you and you're choosing to be happy, they're telling you here too, you need to forgive, forgive, let go. Doesn't mean you have to forget, but this is to forgive for your own happiness as well so that you can move on and have, you know, a beautiful future here. So I feel for a lot of you, you may be going through some healing 
um, maybe you know through conversation um, you may be forgiving someone remember if I didn't say it already roles can be reversed here as well okay so this could be the other person we're talking about but I feel the energy here is about you you walking away and choosing your own happiness here all right so let's um, get a couple shuffles in here and see what comes out I feel like there's something new coming in for you something beautiful and I feel you know it's going to start this week but I also feel um, it's going to really bloom in August which we're not that far actually August 2nd is the end of the week so let's get three cards for Aquarius what does Aquarius need to know July 27th through August 2nd what does Aquarius need to know okay we have the moon card I feel similar energies with uh, the for the Gemini readings. If you have Gemini in your chart, I'm already feeling similar energy. Uh, so I'll leave that one there. So check that out. I don't read reversals. So if you see me flipping the cards, um, I rely more on um, intuitively reading. Everyone does it differently, but um, I rely more on spirit messages here. And we have five of cups. Yeah, I feel like there was something that definitely disappointed you. Okay, I feel like this is something that you've been feeling disappointed for a while. I feel like you've been feeling left in the dark here with the moon card. Uh, maybe feeling, um, you know, uh, someone around you may have been secretive or may have been hiding something or um may have even you know made things feel like they were an illusion to you could be dealing with a pisces energy uh also could be dealing with a cancer scorpio or pisces so i definitely feel here there was somebody i feel here that um wasn't open and honest wasn't clear about their intentions here with the seven of swords and the uh, nine of swords here and I feel like you it, it made you feel trapped it made you feel stuck all right it made you feel look at there's a lot of darkness in these cards and I feel again here that's why you chose walking away and the sun here sunshine here and you may not have walked away yet this may be coming this week okay where you choose to be happy all right because I feel here definitely somebody here was making you feel stuck somebody wasn't honest with you um, or clear okay or maybe somebody was trying to get away with something here now you also have here the eight of pentacles right so this could be somebody you were dealing with at work okay you could have um, if this is love for you this could be uh, somebody you met at work um, and for others this can just be about you focusing on work right now focusing on you working on you or focusing on your pentacles all right let's pull some more cards thank you oh, we already got one all right we got the hermit card thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for aquarius uh july 27th through august 2nd we have judgment we have wheel of fortune wow Look at this. We have five of cups on the bottom of duck again. I don't feel like you're going to change your mind about this. All right. I feel here that you're going to move forward with this decision, whatever, um, whether, you know, this is about love or someone that you're close to, um, or it could even be career here, right? You have the hermit card so i feel like this is something you've been thinking about a lot okay like i said you may have felt it was all an illusion or you may have felt somebody was keeping secrets from you um, or could be done with a pisces it could be done with a virgo as well but i feel here this is something that you've definitely thought about you've really gone inside used your intuition here um, and i feel like you've been listening to your intuition in this situation all right to try and guide you you had the eight of pentacles and you had the judgment card all right 
So I feel for a lot of you, this is you moving on from your past, okay? I feel like this has to do with something from your past or a past person here. Um, you know, this can be this person returning, okay? Trying, um, you know, trying to have a conversation with you. But like I said, I feel here through conversation, um, I feel like you're really gonna decide to choose you here and do what makes you feel happy because this sunshine here looks really great, okay? And um, I feel like you're really gonna start blossoming in, in August, okay, with a new beginning. I feel like the blessings are gonna come. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So this was meant to happen, even though it may not have been something that was pleasant, it was meant to happen here. The wheel keeps turning. We don't always understand why things happen, um, but definitely this is a blessing, okay? It may even be a blessing in disguise for some of you, all right? But the blessings are coming. This is, you know, I said blossoming here. You got the lotus. Uh, I feel here definitely in August, you're gonna feel really, really good. Okay, you're, you're no longer going to be in this stuck energy here or dealing with somebody who is not doing something in your best interests, all right, or maybe hiding something or trying to get away with something is what I'm getting. All right, so let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have the Five of Cups, which we already talked about. Yeah, Four of Swords. You've really taken some time to think about this and meditate on this. All right, um, this is definitely your energy here, air energy. We have the high priestess. Again, I feel here you've been, um, you know, listening to your intuition. Uh, I feel here too, you may be feeling very, very intuitive this week as well, right? Gaining some insights, maybe also um, connecting a higher, connecting at a higher level spiritually is what I'm getting as well. And then look here, you have the world card, okay? So this tells me, you know, look at this. You're wrapping up a cycle, all right? I feel like, um, I feel here that Spirit's saying, you're wrapping up a cycle, but it's like there's a whole new you, all right? There's a whole new you, new you that is blossoming, okay? You're cl closing out old cycles, you're starting something new. Um, you're gonna feel freer, you're gonna feel lighter. You're gonna feel more balanced here, more calm, right? You're gonna feel at peace is what I'm getting here. Like I said here with the sun card, this is peace, joy, happiness. So definitely the blessings are coming here. And for some of you, you may even be traveling at a distance, okay? Or just, uh, I feel here for a lot of you, you're connecting more spiritually. Might may even be doing a lot of meditation um, which is really good. If you're not doing it, it's, uh, it's a good, I feel here the message is to do it because you're going to receive these intuitive insights, okay, to help you. All right, now we're going to do a possible outcome from July 27th through August 2nd. Please remember possible outcome. Uh, it, you know, things can change based on uh, free will and choice here. So let's get three cards for Aquarius, three cards for Aquarius. We have Knight of Cups. Ooh, we have the Death card. Four of Pentacles. All right. I feel here we have the Emperor card at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with an Aries, right? I feel here um, we have the Death card. Could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. But whatever you walked away from, for some of you, this could be a job uh, is what I'm getting, right? Or this could be a specific person. And I feel here you're going through a transformation right now. Like I said, you had the world card and the wheel of fortune. And this tells me you're closing out an old cycle. You're transforming, tra you're going through a transformation, a transition, uh, you're blossoming here. You may have felt, I had said here, you may have felt things were dark before. And look, things were dark and now the light's coming in. You're starting a whole new chapter in your life is what I'm getting. And you also have here the Knight of Cups and you have the Four of Pentacles. 
So I feel here with the Knight of Cups, I feel like there's somebody new coming in here. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, but I feel like this is something new, something romantic. Can also be someone uh, coming in with a gift, okay, or a kind gesture as well. You also have here the Four of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are, are going to feel a little bit held back, okay, when this person comes in. I feel here you're going to hold back because I feel here whatever this past energy was or this person that you were dealing with in the past or situation, um, I feel here it left you pretty exhausted. So I feel like you may be a little guarded, maybe holding back, especially if it comes, you know, if it comes to love, all right? So you may be a little bit um, guarded here. All right, Aquarius, great week for you. A beautiful reading. I hope you gain some clarity. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.